So later this week, one of my most anticipated movies of the summer, Deadpool 2, will be released. That means I'm ready to start talking about the movie. Yesterday, I put out a video called Three Reasons That Deadpool 2 Could Suck. And today, I'm going to counterbalance that video by giving the five reasons that I'm sure that Deadpool 2 is actually going to be totally awesome. Now, before I get started, go ahead and tell me down below in the comment section, why are you excited for Deadpool 2? What are you most excited for? Why do you think this movie is going to be absolutely incredible? And one final thing before I get started, this video is brought to you by my supporters over on Patreon. You can see their names down below. Thank you guys so much for making this happen. I do very much appreciate it. You're one of the reasons I was able to build this fun new set behind me. With that said, let's get started. Reason number one that Deadpool 2 will be awesome is that the writers and Ryan Reynolds returned. Now, when it comes to Deadpool, there was a very clear, distinct style and sense of humor to what they were going for. And in the first movie, it seemed like Tim Miller, the writers, and Ryan Reynolds were all headed in the same direction. In the process of making the second one, clearly, Tim Miller wanted to do something different, and so he went on to do other things. But at the core of it, there was a script that Ryan Reynolds absolutely believed in, and he brought those writers back and worked with them in writing the script for the second movie. And it seems like they've kind of still got, they've still got the magic. The lightning in the bottle wasn't just a one-time thing. The lightning is still in the bottle as they've been working on this one, at least based off the trailers, what we've seen thus far. They've still got that spark of humor. It still feels fresh. Now, it's tough to know exactly who was responsible for what elements on the first movie and making it so good, but the fact that you know kind of what Ryan Reynolds brings to the table. We've seen a sense of humor many places and many different times, and this just seems kind of like the perfected version of it. And he seemed to think that these writers were key to that, and so bringing them back makes me very excited for this film. Reason number two this movie's gonna be awesome is director David Leitch. I think I pronounced that right. So yesterday I actually included his name as one of the reasons I'm nervous about the film, but he's also one of the reasons I'm very excited about the film, and the simple fact of the matter is that he's directed some very cool action movies. Of course, he was one of the two guys that worked on the original John Wick, which was just such a breath of fresh air in the action genre. Such a distinct style, so good at framing shots, doing world building more than just having an action movie, but building a world that we go into and we're excited to be in. And then he went on and he did Atomic Blonde. And while that struggled in the story department, it was very convoluted, it had such a cool, distinct style to it. And in my review for that, every time I've talked about it, I said, I would love it if him and the cast of that movie just did a straight action movie because Atomic Blonde's more like a spy espionage film with really cool action scenes in it and a cool style to it. If they just did a straight action movie, I would love it. And so the idea that you're not necessarily getting that crew of people, but you're getting him with the people that did Deadpool and the writers that did Deadpool that can probably do a more streamlined story that he can handle a little, little bit better. So there's just that, hey, can he do the humor just right? But beyond that, I mean, like the action in this movie, I'm sure is going to be incredible and blow the first movie out of the water. And the first movie had really good action in it. He's just that good, at least based off the two things that I've seen from him. So he's one of the reasons that I think that this movie is going to have some really cool stuff going on in it. Reason number three, we've had some great marketing thus far, going all the way back to over a year ago when Logan came out. They put kind of a teaser trailer on it, but they shot some unique footage, had some great laughs in it. One of the best Stan Lee cameos in it. And then from there, they put out this Bob Ross um, very raunchy um, trailer for the movie and then the marketing where they've shown footage from it or the one where they had Deadpool playing with action figures with Woody and as Deadpool or Deadpool as Woody from Toy Story just all sorts of fun stuff like what they did with the first movie it's like they haven't skipped a beat they still got the magic that they had on the first movie they're just giving us more of what we enjoyed and that's what you want from a sequel so thus far the marketing's only gotten me excited each kind of new piece I've been like, oh, that was cool. Well, that was neat and got me more and more excited leading all the way up to the most recent trailers. I was discussing with someone yesterday in the comment section. They thought they'd shown too much of the movie in the trailers. I guess for me, I haven't seen enough of it where I feel like I know what the beats are and how exactly the structure falls together and where it's going in the third act. So I'm pretty confident I haven't seen too much of it thus far in the trailers, but I haven't watched all the TV spots or if they put any clips out. I haven't watched any of that stuff. So, but overall, I thought the market thus far has been very good for it. 
But overall, this is a movie that's had great marketing thus far. Reason number four, Josh Brolin as Cable. So Josh Brolin seems to be on a bit of a nice little ride right now. He did Thanos a couple weeks ago in one of the best parts of that movie. And in the trailers thus far, he's looked really good as Cable. Clearly, he went all in with hitting the gym and looking great for a guy that's like right around 50 years old. But kind of beyond that, he seems to have gone all in on the tongue in cheek, breaking the fourth wall humor of all of it and being in on the joke, being willing to make fun of himself, have fun in all of it. So thus far, I mean, he seems like he's going to be a great addition to this world and a character that's going to be a nice foil because we know that Cable's not a bad guy. So how does he tie into it? How does his anti-hero role? Is there another villain in it? How's all that going to play out? I don't know, but I think uh, he was like a lot of us were thinking Stephen Lang and then they announced Josh Brolin. We're like, well, that's an interesting choice. And then like two months later after he hit the gym, we're like, Okay, Josh Brolin, you won me over. I think you're going to do a great job. So I'm not going to complain anymore. So I'm very excited to see what he's going to do in this movie. And the fifth and final reason that I think that Deadpool 2 is going to be amazing is that the early reactions have been phenomenal. So I've had several of my friends got to go see it a few days ago, and then the internet has started to have kind of its Twitter responses to it. And everything that I've seen has been like through the roof, like better than the first movie, hilarious, exactly what a sequel's supposed to be. I mean, like not a single mixed reaction, not a single, it was good. I have only seen people that were just, like just saying it knocked it out of the park. Fantastic sequel, outdoes the original on every single level. So based off the early reactions, it's also looking to be a great, great movie. And you just kind of put all those pieces together. The creative team that captured, kind of created the humor of all of it, they're back. They got a director that can capture the action, put a nice style to it. Everything we've seen from the marketing has looked really good. Everything we've seen from adding Josh Brolin to the mix has looked really good. And the people that have seen it and that are talking about it on Twitter are just saying, it's phenomenal. Put all that together. It looks like we've got a great movie, a great blockbuster, and a great follow-up coming out. This is going to be a, cool, a very cool little window of time because, I mean, I loved Infinity War. It looks like Deadpool 2 is going to be great, and I'm hearing pretty good things about Solo, so... Maybe this is going to be a phenomenal movie, a phenomenal summer for movies and blockbusters. At least that's what I'm hoping for. How about you? Why are you excited about it? Tell me down below in the comment section. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, sometimes editorials like this one where I just talk about movies that I'm excited to talk about before they come out and tell you why I'm excited about them. Because I want to start a conversation with you. The key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me down in the comment section. Let's have a lively discussion. And as always, Thank you for watching.